All right, and welcome back to AZW. This is heavyweight division action. Taking a little bit of a break from the Europe stalwart division tournament. One of these days, I'm going to actually remember the rebranded names. Stalwart division tournament. The second phase of that tournament is now over, and now we've got Alfred Adams taking on newcomer Prince of No, yeah, Prince of Macedon. Another YouTube personality, if you're into war gaming, as in Total War, check out Prince of Macedon. Macedon. And of course, you should be familiar with Alfred Adams by now. If not, because you're new to AZW, he is one of the smaller guys that will uh, compete in the heavyweight division. He actually competes in pretty much all the divisions except for the velocity lightweight uh, division. Hard knees to the much bigger man there, Prince of Macedon. Alfred uses kind of an MMA style. A little bit of MMA, a little bit of pro wrestling, a little bit of martial arts. Well, you know, grappling martial arts that you normally don't see in MMA. That's what I'm getting at here. He's kind of a you know, multi-style kind of guy. And, he, you know, like I said, he'll show up in pretty much all the divisions except for, for the Velocity Lightweight division. At one time or another, he's been in all of them. Right now, he's competing in the Heavyweight division. Prince of Macedon, new to the company. AZW. Trying to make a name here in the Heavyweight weight division. Joining some of his fellow Total War gamers from YouTube, such as Warrior of Sparta, Lionheart, and Air of Carthage. All really, really big time heavyweights here in AZWE Fredland. Big man, Prince of Macedon going up. Ooh, big splash. On to Alfred Adams Five, on the outside. That six, had to hurt. Seven, and a big backdrop eight, there. Nine. Like, ten, uh, Prince of Macedon has got things in hand here. But do not count Alfred out. He did hold the heavyweight title there briefly. He beat the then champion over center. Ooh. It's like uh, Prince of Macedon is calling it for his finisher there. Uh, one of his finishers. He's taking him to the corner. And he's just going to take him up. He likes to use a superplex to soften people up. It looks like that's what he's doing there. Just a big superplex. One for pin. One, two. two. Uh, only two. Can. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, Alfred's coming off that loss to over center. He beat over center for the title. And go into the backstory for those of you who are new, I guess. Uh, Over Center beat his longtime rival, rival Cabal, for the heavyweight championship. Uh, Cabal kind of went on a hiatus, uh, you know, went to do some R and R to recover. Apparently, had some nagging injuries that he just needed some time to rest up from. That was the story we got, anyway. And then uh, Alfred Adams kind of called in some favors and got an immediate match against Over Center for that title and beat him for it. Then, of course, Over Center basically did the same thing. Normally, we wouldn't allow someone to do an immediate rematch if they've only, if the, you know, if they lose the title that quickly. But Over Center has enough pull to. Only two count. Over Center had enough pull, I should say, to go ahead and get another match for the title right away and then beat Alfred for the title. Then not long after that, he ended up going up against Cabal, who called in his rematch because he had held the title long enough to be able to call or demand a rematch. 
Only two count. And Cabal at our big nefarious in November supercard beat over center. So there's a, been a little bit of stink going around from over center. And ooh, ooh, ah, big clubby blow to the back of Alfred's head there. Alfred, uh, well, turning things around. I was going to say Alfred is looking like he might lose this one, but now he seems to have turned things around a at least a little bit and see if he can keep up with the momentum here. Ooh, nice guillotine. Manages to slide into the ropes. Prince of Macedon does. Oh, one. Just punched the crap Two. out of him right out of the ring. Three. <laughs> and an Four. uppercut. Alfred Adams, Five. heavy boxing Six. background. In addition Five. to all of his other MMA, Eight. and no, no, he's signaling for something. That's what he usually signals for his. You know, he just goes, the no, no doesn't necessarily apply to a move. He just likes to use that to kind of signal something. He hasn't used any move yet that I've seen any of his. Ooh, tripping up there. Going for some punches there. Right in the rope, so it was immediately broken up. Ooh, hard punch and a jumping punch. Alfred Adams, yeah, in addition to his MMA, wrestling, and, you know, grappling martial arts background, he has a big-time boxing background. He's one of the hardest punchers in the promotion. Oh, uh, there, no, no. He's calling for something. Sending him into the ropes. See what he does here. Gets him up. Big suplex. To cover. One, two, two, count, two. two count. Guess that was a receipt for earlier when that superplex got hit on him. The snapmare takeover. Oh, uh, wait a minute. What the fuck? That's over center. What the hell? Over center coming in here. He's trying to disrupt this match. What the f Come on, ref. What the hell? Yuria is in there helping. Overcenter just broke up that pin and turned to, well, come on, ref, what the fuck? This isn't a no DQ match, what the hell? Yuri, uh, Alfred Adams, sometimes tag partner, one of his team mates and, or stable mates and the answer. Is Alfred getting a little payback there on Overcenter, but Yuri there was trying to drop kick. Prince and hit Alfred. So we'll have to see what how this affects the matchup. Folks. I don't know. Uh, Alfred's tripped him down and punching him again, utilizing that MMA and boxing experience. Prince Macedon takes him over. But I'm not sure why the ref didn't go ahead and call it. Oh. One, two, three, three. And that is actually, if I remember correctly, how Alfred won the the title match against Over Center. He likes to use that uh, the Tiger Suplex with a pin, a bridge, as a finisher. Oh, that is a hard suplex. You can see why he gets so much success with that. But, uh, oh, well, that's a hell of a development, folks. Uh, I was going to say earlier that there's been some stink coming from over center about uh, his loss, but I hadn't really heard him talking about Alfred a whole lot. Uh, it kind of looks, from that, it kind of looks like he's blaming Alfred for tripping him up, so... Uh, we'll just have to see how that develops, folks. I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, we'll see you on the next one later.